a route. Right, we're um, we're at Kemp Mayer today. We were meant to be wild camping uh, last night, but the weather was awful. So we've decided to come through at the lakes early. It's a Sunday morning. We're going to do the Kemp Mayer horseshoe. So looking forward to it. 13 mile walk. Um, I've got it from walking the Wainwrights. Uh, book and uh, there's a website that I've been using to get the GPX so it should be canny. It's going to be 10 Wainwrights so it's going to be a hard walk but it should be good. Right of the day, York. Coming up to the next Wainwright of the day, Eel Bell, or Eel Bell, I don't know. It's been a quite nice walk up actually, it's quite dramatic. We've uh, just hit the cloud level now so we won't be able to see much from the summit but it's been a pretty cool walk up. It's a good cairn this mind. I do love a good cairn. I hate summits where you don't get a good cairn. Just something like crappy pile of rocks. I want something a bit more dramatic, a bit more cinematic. <laughs> I like this one. This is mint.
just heading up to our third way and right of the day, Frostwick. It's a tough walk up here, but it's nice. This is uh, Thornthwaite, best care ever. Weather's set in like, can't see out. Decent care not.
a bad view today. So I uh, just finished the tenth and final win right of the day. I'll tell you what we've done. Uh, so I've done York, Ilbell, Fustwick, Thornthwaite, Crag, Grey Crag, High Street, Mardell, Ilbell, Hartafell, Kimmy Pike, and Shipman Nuts. It's going to be about a 13 mile walk. It's really good actually. Uh, you start off in Kempmere, then you've got a pretty big ascent uh, for the first like three miles, just to get on the ridge, ridge line really. Then you're just up and down, up and down, up and down. It's like, spectacular. Then uh, you loop round the other side of Kempmere Reservoir and come along the other side, which uh, isn't quite as good. It's a bit, uh, bit more sort of like farmy land. You don't see quite as much, but still canny. Uh, it's a tough walk, but nothing like ridiculous. So uh, most people could do it, I think, with a full day in the tank. Uh, it's going to take us about eight hours. So we got here for about quarter past eight. So we've got plenty of time, plenty of light. It's raining a bit now and it, there was a couple of heavy showers in between, but for the most part, it's been uh, really nice. So uh, yeah, I'll just head back down to the car park now and uh, get off home. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, well, this is the first of 36 walks, hopefully, to get all 214 wearing right. So uh, if you want to know what I'm doing, if you just Google walking the Wainwright, I think it's called Stuart Marshall. I'll put uh, I'll put a description in there. Put a link in the description uh, to his book. Oh, there's a website called The Walking Englishman, I think. I think uh, you can get all the GPXs off him as well. That's what I did. So I just downloaded his GPX into my phone and my watch. Just followed that round. So uh, didn't even get lost. Not much anyway. Right, catch you later.